everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Scrap and Life Away, soon to be Leslie's Creative Studio. Just putting that out there so that y'all know probably come January, the name, my name of my channel is going to be changing, but that's for another time. I am here to do November's Exploration of Me for Cindy Science Utter. And the prompt for November is favorite class in, in school and why? Well, that's a really good question because I did not have a favorite class in school. None. Not a zip. Um, senior class play was a blast, um, but no, I did not have a favorite class, honestly. I mean, I really racked my brain, um, and did not, could not think of anything that I thought was fun and or interesting that I enjoyed about school. Um, I was a good student, don't get me wrong. I mean, I got all A's and B's except for one class that I failed on purpose. <laughs> and that was more just to spite my family more than anything else. I mean, really? Who wants to take shorthand when you're a senior in high school? Seriously? I was more interested in skipping that class <clears throat> and going home and laying out in the sun. So that's what I did. Um, I could have graduated early. I could have graduated the end of my uh, junior year. I had more than enough credit, but uh, I wasn't old enough. So, yep. So, needless to say, I muddled through my senior year, and like I said, uh, so I really didn't have a favorite class, so I'm going to take a different look at this. Uh, I'm going to put a different spin on it. I'm going to do it um, in a way that I think actually a lot of people who didn't like school um, might relate to this. So I hope that it speaks to somebody's heart and I hope that it um, I hope that it gives you a little bit of spark to do something creative. So what I'm going to do is get all my stuff together and get it ready. Uh, I think I'm going to be using uh, all Americana paint um, or their uh, fluid, um, fluid acrylics um, on this project. So I will make sure to uh, list that in the bottom. Uh, let me see. What else did I want to tell you? I think that the any stencils that I use are going to be uh, Gina B. Aaron's Gina B. Aaron's designs. I have a, two stencils of hers that I want to use on this project. So, without any waiting, drum roll, I'm gonna go. I'm going to get all my things gathered together, and let's get started. Okay, I do not have this page gessoed, um, just because I didn't want to. I'm gonna start out with Indian turquoise and white. Do not have a turquoise. In the fluid acrylic line, I thought I did, but evidently I was wrong. So I'm going to take the Indian turquoise and some white and lighten this up. I know that looks like a lot of paint. Don't worry. If it is too much paint, I have my extra paint book here and this is where I smush paint in. So that will go there. 
but let's just mix this up a little bit here. That still might be too dark. I might need to add a little more white. Yeah, I think I do. I like experimenting with paint to see what colors I can get. Oh, that's better. And I'm going to use this color to cover my entire page. This is going to be kind of my base coat. So I'm just going to get to it. Oh yeah, I'm going to have too much. Okay, this is still too dark for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add white with less blue. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see what that does.
hands all dry and my steps are all dry, my arrows are all dry, and I have already gone ahead and um, using these alphabet rub-ons for evolution by making memories. I don't even know if this company is still in business, but anyway, I'm using what I have and I have used the rub-ons on tissue paper and I'm going to go ahead and use my matte medium to adhere those and do a little bit of journaling. And when I'm done with that, I'll be back for the final show. Okay, my friends, here is my finished page. Education is as valuable as life experience. Very important to remember that. And the stairs are the steps of learning, experience. Never stop learning. Just keep this, keep learning lessons. Just keep going. And you'll achieve your goal. So this is my page for the month of November for Explorations of Me. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please check the links below for the other teachers and their videos. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. See you next month, everybody, with another installment of Explorations of Me. Bye.